Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I am a cruiser for YouTuber that is trying to have a year long no buy and also I'm trying to get like not a catchphrase but a, a hello phrase, a beginning phrase or something and today I am doing another part in my spring palettes, palettes inspired by spring is here yeah. And it was a couple of weeks ago, I think, where I talked about seven palettes that I want to use more now during spring. And because I am on this try to have a year long no buy, I am trying to use the palettes that I have in my collection and trying to come up with ways to use them that feels natural to do. So <laughs> the palette I'm going to play with today is Cotton Candy. From Beach Cosmetics, it's an 8 pan palette that looks like this. So it is a pink and a purple palette. And these were so popular when they came out. So yeah, I think I've only used this once. I can't remember. So yeah, I think we just uh, get started. And I'm like already anxious and don't want to think about it. What? I should have for kind of a lip to this because doing I'm doing a pink and purple look of course I don't know what to wear for lipstick <laughs> but I'm going to start with uh, confection and sugar plum in my crease and then I, I don't know what more I will use but I think I want to use twirl this super bright pink um, on my lid but we will just have to wait and see and I just have to even out my eyeshadow primer so these palettes when they came out they were so hyped and this was actually the first not product that I tested from Beach Cosmetics because this that has been this one one of their eyeshadow brushes. I do love this blending brush. I think it's so, so good. It's my favorite <laughs> blending brush. I have four of them. But these Sweet Shop were the first palettes I bought and I do really, really like them. And I did a super long video. It was over an hour where I did a first impression with all of these five that I got. And I can leave it up here if you want to see it, but um, yeah, I, Beach Cosmetics did get out of business, but Makeup Revolution did buy them, what I have understand. And Jelika Nyqvist did a video about this. I can leave it down in the description. And um, I don't know if they are going to continue to have the palettes they have had in stock and yeah I don't know but these palettes were so hyped and I bought them from the German site in Sweden I don't think you can buy it's some Swedish web shop that has some things from beauty BH Cosmetics, but not these ones, and Beauty Bay didn't have them either. So I w think it was just their own websites, and uh, yeah, then I buy from Germany because it's no customs because it's inside of Europe. No, it's inside of the EU. So I will go in with this sugar plum now to just have some dimension in my crease just to have something more and I might go in with this on my lid as well I don't know this was such a nice combo it really looks like a little ice cream or something Now Ines is coming and I think she's going to misbehave as usual. Okay, so on my lid I want to continue with Sugar Plum and take Twirl as well. So I will start with Sugar Plum and now I have catch on this one. 
take it out here and yes I'm doing a half cut crease now again I guess that nobody is surprised even the slightest with that and these colors are really they are so so good and these palettes <laughs> wasn't expensive and I guess that Beauty Bay is <laughs> Beauty Bay BH Cosmetics is the drugstore brand or was or is yeah and then I'm in with <laughs> pink shimmer and I hope this isn't too flaky maybe I should have used the glitter primer Maybe, maybe it works like this, but it feels like I'm going to have shimmer all over my face for a couple of days. Really cute and fun look, I would say. And even that that is not like my favorite thing. I do think this looks really good. This is done though a look that I would do to go out and eat in because I don't think it represents me. That that sound uh, strange, but I hope that you get what I mean. I think this would have been better if I would have taken a glitter primer just to have a little better control over it because it is kind of flaky. And then I'm just taking the brush that I had to match it on just to go over it a little bit but not putting on some extra color on the brush. And I think I just want to keep it like this because I think it's so fun and bright and I do really really like it so I will fix my face and my under eyes and then I come back with the, the finished look with the cotton candy and I'm going to try to choose lipstick the worst thing with doing purple is choosing a lipstick this is the finished look for my wash line I did use Amethyst Hour from Colourpop and I'm guessing I'm going to see what I used on my face. For contour, I did use this contour stick and brush from Isadora. And for blush, I did use this one from Glossier. This is their Cloud Paint and Puff. I actually really like it. I haven't used it that much. And for highlight, I did use this old one from Nabla. It's a stick highlighter. And for my lips, I did use something from Kaleidos. My kit didn't have any names on them. And this is not the first lipstick. And it's not the second lipstick either. But this is what we have to go with. I I don't know. So this is my spring look with the Sweet Shop Cotton Candy from BH Cosmetics. And I do really, really like this look. I... Purple and pink hasn't been my favorites, but I do really like how I look in like pastel purples now. And also with this shimmer pink, I do like it so, so much. And I think it's a really fun look. So I did only use three colors for this. I did use Confection, Sugar Plum and Twirl. And I'm super happy with it. And I have four more palettes go I think in my Syria the spring Syria and I do hope that you like it the only thing I feel is I have mostly picked pinkish palettes so it's going to be a lot of pink and uh, I'm sorry about uh, that's just how it is I I feel like pink is really kind of springy color I don't know why but that's what I think maybe everybody thinks that I don't know that was all for that that video, this video and i really hope you liked it and if you're not subscribing to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos and i hope that i will see you in the next one bye